something now. Dr. Myers is a new doctor at a hospital that demands perfection, and he's under scrutiny by his superiors. His new patient's crisis isn't helping. Having a relatively healthy patient come in, arrest in front of me, gave me the most horrible, sinking feeling I've ever had. Still no response. Miss Lawson, can you hear us? Let's give a uh, milligram of atropine, please. Still Brady on the monitor, 40. We're going to get ready to intubate her. I'm going to need to accommodate and stop. I'd like the video scope, please. Video scope to the ICU. Max, please. We did everything in the book that we knew how to do. We had to place her on the ventilator through endotracheal intubation. Rhythm change. Meet fib. Start CPR, please. Continue compressions. Let's get ready to shock. The whole time I'm thinking what could have happened here. Unsynchronized biphasic 200 joules, please. Charging at 200 joules. Everybody clear. Clear. Shock. Continue compressions. VTAC. VTAC. There was no indication that this woman was any sicker than when she had walked in the door, and yet she was dying right in front of us. Lidocaine, 75 milligrams. A milligram of epinephrine, please. All these thoughts went through my head about how this is not a good outcome. It's going to reflect very badly on me. Defibrillate again at 200 joules. Sure. And shocking. We're going to give uh, amiodarone. Amiodarone. 300 milligrams. Amiodarone given. Shock when you're ready, 200 joules. Clear. Shocking. One more time, 200 joules. Clear when you're ready. Clear. Shocking. After about 40 minutes of these intensive resuscitative efforts, we couldn't get anything back. Her EKG had been completely flatlined. She was not breathing on her own. Okay, hold compressions. What's on the monitor? Icy silly. Flatlined. I went around the bed and asked anybody if they had any additional ideas. And nobody could come up with anything. Filling the ER with a noxious stench. Doctor. Dr. Bose's cow dung covered patient has stopped breathing. Let's bag him. My patient's not breathing, and I'm wondering if he's aspirated cow feces into his airway or if he has internal injury. He may die quickly if he's not breathing. So, my biggest concern is helping him breathe. He has some obstruction. Let's see if this helps. Then the administrative nurse comes in. Oh my God, it's true. She's heard the rumor that we have a patient covered in cow feces. <gasps> Why didn't you clean them up? It smells like a feed lot in here. We can smell it all the way down the other end of the hospital. Patients are complaining. We have bigger problems right now to deal with. He stopped breathing a few minutes ago. <laughs> Simmons' patient has been crying for two weeks. So far, she's proven inconsolable. He's placed her in the psych ward for observation. The psychiatric rooms are separate from the other rooms because a lot of times people do yell and you want to observe them, but you don't want them in the middle of everything else going on. You want to give them a calmer environment, more comfortable environment. Hi, Kelly. How are you doing? Terrible. Why did they move me here? It's quieter. We gave you some medicine to help calm you down. What about my heart? What about medication for my heart? Tell me why you're so sad. I wanted to find out what could be so bad. What could have caused so much distress? And at first, she's just saying, I can't get comfortable. Life is never going to be the same. What's going on? What's different in your life? I died. My dad died. Two weeks ago, his truck rolled. Dad at the scene. He was supposed to be coming over for dinner. <laughs> and he never came. I 
happens to me if I'm nothing but pain. She's holding her chest going, my heart is broken. I need it to go away. I wish that the pain of a broken heart was then we can fix the emergency room, but it isn't. While I was holding her hand, I was taking her pulse. And I feel an extra couple beats, and then a few skip beats, and things just aren't fluid. They're not consistent. She's not in a regular rhythm. Can we get an EKG on her and her labs come back? Just came in. Thank you. I'll talk with you again later. Her blood tests were normal. Her pulse was good, except for a couple of extra beats. And there were no other cardiac symptoms. It had to be psychiatric. And I get the EKG. And I said, this can't be my patient's EKG. My patient looks good. This EKG doesn't. It can't be my patient. Are you kidding me? Lidocaine, please. 